Welcome to Danger Goggles, I'm Jacob. And in today's episode, we'll be starting on tearing down the engine and getting an inspection to see what we've got underneath all this stuff. I have seen a few issues already and we'll get to them as we start taking stuff off. We've got the air cleaner off. I'll get this probably sandblasted and then repaint it. I had never had a filter in it, so I'll have to find a new one of those. And it's got this neat valve on the inside of it to where it can either draw in cold air or hot air. So that's pretty cool, it still works. This wire right here was for the license plate light. I just removed it so I could take the engine cover off just to get that out of the way. I'm just gonna lay that up there. I'm gonna take the plug wires off, pull the cap, and we'll inspect the cap and rotor. Looking in the cap, it has some wear on it, and the rotor looks very worn out. We're gonna replace these, and we're also gonna replace plug wires, spark plugs, replace a lot of vacuum lines and hoses. And I put this bag over the car carb earlier, just so I could you know, see what was going on. I didn't want stuff to get in there. So I've got that on, so we'll take a look. The points look like they're about shot. So as we go along, we'll replace the condenser and the points and have it hopefully running like new once we get back to reassembling it. Put the rotor back for safekeeping. Pull the oil cap off. I've already pulled this off a couple of times. Take a look, there's a lot of rust in there. So we're gonna have to pull the valve cover off in a minute and see what it all looks like. But definitely has a lot of rust. Put this on and we'll remove the carburetor and the throttle cable and try to get at the bolts holding the valve cover on. The, uh, the carburetor is seized up the uh, throttle won't work, the choke is stuck, everything's kind of stuck on it, so we're gonna have to take that apart. Just take it apart completely and uh, clean everything up and get everything moving again and rebuild it. And then we'll get that back on. Here's our carburetor. It's a Weber. I don't know anything about Weber carburetors, but we'll get it cleaned up and get a rebuild kit on it. And hopefully it'll run like new. And here's a, what I assume to be a little heat shield to sit underneath the bowl of the carburetor to keep the, the fuel from boiling. Some places of the car, there's only rust holding it together, so we'll have some rust repair to do in the future. We have our valve cover bolts loose. We're gonna pull this off and see what it looks like underneath. Hopefully it's not too bad. Okay. I said we're gonna take it off. Means we still have, no. It does not look pretty so far. 
Two. So we've got a lot of rust, so we're probably going to pull this head off and have to rebuild the whole thing. So it'll be a little more involved engine tear down and rebuild than I'd hoped, but we'll get it back going eventually. Yeah, it is just caked up on there. Okay, we just cut the belt off because these belts can never be used. They are shot. Belt's stuck in there. So we have our generator out. And it spins well enough to throw rust into my face. So we might see if we can get this tested or we might just replace it, but it does spin freely. Water pump and fans spin, but not smoothly. So we might look at replacing that at some point too, or rebuilding the water pump. Next thing I wanna do is pull the spark plugs out Take a look down each hole, see how the cylinder looks. Uh, we're gonna have to pull the head at some point anyway to get all this repaired or replaced as needed. But we'll go ahead and look down the cylinder to see the health of the engine block. Okay, here's our spark plugs as they came out of the cylinder head. Cylinder one, two, three, and four. It looks like there's a lot of carbon buildup on all of them. Some of them look like they got a little too hot, but it looks like we have rust inside of cylinder number three. So we'll take a look down each hole and see what we can see inside of there. Got it? Okay. Now looking down each one of these holes, and can't really get it on camera. Most of this, well, three out of the four look pretty good, but it does look like there's some rust in cylinder number three. So we'll start We'll get some of these other accessories off, pull the oil filter, pull the water pump and the radiator, just get stuff out of the way, take off the exhaust, pull out the distributor, and then we'll pull the head off and see what the rest of the engine looks like. Uh, the oil down in the oil pan, it was black, but it looked good other than that, so we'll see how the rest of the engine fared. We're gonna go ahead and take off the water pump and uh, see what that looks like inside, see if we can see anything in there. So let's go ahead and get this off. <laughs> How much coolant do you think this engine holds? This we'll find out. Good, yeah. This thing is green and not chunky brown. This goes off, spill a lot more. Definitely need a new fan shroud. But there's the whole water pump assembly to inside. Looks pretty decent. So this it looks like we should be able to just reuse. I'll just have to clean out this port right here. 
Awesome. It's a little bit of chunky stuff in here, so we'll flush the whole system out later. Let's go ahead and get this oil canister off. Okay, I've got our nuts loose that hold our rocker shaft on. We're gonna go ahead and pull this off and just see if everything moves the way it's supposed to. As there was a lot of surface rust on it, so we're gonna see how healthy it is. So we need to take this off to get to the head bolts underneath. All these look like they are seized solid on this shaft so it's going to take some work to get that freed up so we're going to have a lot of work to do de-rusting this engine and getting it ready to run again it looks like some oil passages are blocked and a lot of corrosion so we'll get that taken care of I'm gonna pull out these push rods and keep them in order of which cylinder they came out of. It's a lot of garbage on every one. Oh, that one's stuck. Yeah. That is not good. crunchy okay we've got our rocker shaft out distributor is stuck right now but we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the head bolt see if we can get this head off of here We've got all our head bolts out. We're gonna now try to liberate the head from the top of the engine. And that is a lot easier than I expected. Go ahead and just lift it off. Oh, that is a lot lighter than I expected. So we can take a look at the bottom of the head. still has the gasket on. It looks like there's a fair amount of carbon buildup in these. Some of these are wet because they had uh, marble mystery oil just kind of soaking in there. It's got tiny valves so we'll get this all cleaned up get it ready to go. Here's the end of the uh, distributor. I'll have to gently remove this from the cylinder head. We'll get this all cleaned up. Looking down in these cylinders, it looks like we've got a little bit of a ring ridge. I don't know if that's just buildup of carbon or if the cylinders are worn out. But we do have some rust in this back cylinder and it looks like in this one as well. And I don't know what all that goop is from. It may just be the carbon that was built up on the pistons. So it looks like we're gonna have to pull the whole engine and do kind of a full rebuild. We'll see if we need to do any machine work. I suspect we might have to get it bored out just a little bit. You'll see all that in an upcoming episode. That's gonna be it for this one. Uh, next few episodes, we'll be going over a lot of the engine parts. We're rebuilding the carburetor, rebuilding the cylinder head. 
pulling out the engine and the transmission and just freshening everything up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.